Joining me now, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley of Massachusetts, chair of the Abortion Rights and Access Task Force, and Cecile Richards, co-chair of American Bridge and former president of Planned Parenthood Federation of America. Talk about a powerhouse duo. Thank you both very much for coming to the Sunday show. Uh, Cecile, let me start with you. If the judge outlaws this medication, what will the immediate impact be on reproductive health? Well, Jonathan, it'll be a public health crisis. Um, as you say, medication abortion is used by uh, more than half the people terminating a pregnancy right now. It is safe. It's effective. It's safer than Tylenol. It was approved more than 20 years ago by the FDA. And this lawsuit has absolutely no basis in medicine. It is a political lawsuit. And But unfortunately, just as we saw with the Supreme Court willing to overturn 50 years of precedent and make abortion and make Roe uh, no longer the law of the land, we're now seeing a completely partisan uh, ju federal judge be willing to overturn 20 years of precedent. Uh, it is, and I think it's also important to point out here, Jonathan, this is used by women everywhere, um, Democrats and Republicans. So in fact, if this goes through, uh, if this injunction goes through, no woman in the country will be able to access mifepristone um, um, anymore until until there's a change. Mm. And, you know, we know, Cecile, we know some powerful Republicans want to institute a national abortion ban. So if the judge does block access to mefepristone, wouldn't that effectively be a nationwide abortion ban? Well, it certainly would be um, for medication abortion. Of course, surgical abortion is still available in some states, but right. as you know, well right. know, many states not available at all. But exactly, I, even though states like New York and Massachusetts and California have taken uh, measures to make sure that abortion is available, if mifepristone is no longer available, that that eliminates uh, the, one of the safest, most mm -hmm. effective, and commonly used forms uh, to not only terminate pregnancy, but also to deal with miscarriage. This is why the AMA is so adamantly opposed to uh, overturning uh, access to mifepristone. So, Congresswoman Presley, what can Congress do, if anything, to safeguard access to this drug or at least blunt the impact of a harmful ruling from this judge? Well, I mean, the courts have shown us time and time again that they are not on the side of the people. They continue to overturn the will of majority of the people. And so, plain and simple, Congress will just simply need to stand in the gap. Abortion care is routine medical care. It is cruel and it's inhumane for Republicans to tear health care away. And they continue to target uh, the bodily autonomy and reproductive care and health care rights of women. And black women and abortion rights advocates have been standing uh, in the gap on the front lines for decades when it comes to reproductive care. And we're going to continue to organize and get safe abortion care to those who need it. But Congress is going to have to do its job and codify abortion care as a legal right. We need to pass the Women's Health Protection Act. I would add we also need to pass the EACH Act, which would repeal uh, the Hyde Amendment. Um, but we just, and might I add, we also need to pass the ERA um, because they continue to treat women as second class citizens in this country uh, when it comes to everything from health care access uh, to pay equity. But we're just going to keep organizing. Um, and, I, and this is not a drill. And I, the Republicans continue to make plain uh, the stark contrast here. You know, myself and other advocates, we fought hard for the FDA to expand access to medication abortion and to allow abortion pills to be dispensed at local retail pharmacies. Medication abortion is incredibly safe. It is effective. And over half of all abortions in the U.S. are done this way. We have scientific and medical evidence that backs this up. So this is just a baseless lawsuit by anti-abortion extremists. More of the same. Um, Congressman we'll Presley, back. yeah, you, Congressman Presley, you talked about the fact that black women have been standing in the gap here. Talk more about the importance of this to black maternal health. Well, uh, the black uh, maternal uh, morbidity crisis is exactly that, a crisis. And whenever you're talking about uh, threats to health care, um, you're talking about matters that are life and death. And black women are three to four times more likely to die in childbirth or in post-birthing uh, complications, uh, in fact, for up to a year. 
Uh, and so when you're talking about government-mandated abortion, you're talking about putting the lives of the most vulnerable, uh, black women, uh, those that are um, low-income, brown, indigenous, uh, LGBTQ, disabled, uh, like all things, uh, whenever there are bans on our bodies or draconian uh, legislative uh, efforts or attacks by the courts, those that suffer the most are the most marginalized. So this is a matter of mm -hmm. life and death. But Jonathan, let me just say this. Organized power is realized power. And the fact that President Biden in the State of the Union said that uh, he would certainly stand in the gap to ensure that uh, there would be no uh, federal ban on abortion care. Abortion care is health care, and it is a fundamental uh, human right. And that is evidence of the power of organizing that he spoke so stridently uh, mm -hmm. to the rights of reproductive rights and abortion care. You know, Cecile, to, to Congresswoman Presley's point, I mean, the president did talk about uh, abortion in the State of the Union, but he is facing some criticism for not addressing this particular case um, in his State of the Union address. Do you think it was a missed opportunity? I'm not, no, I mean, I, I felt like he was very forthright about his support for abortion rights. Look, I think what we have to compare here is what the Republican Party is doing. This is a judge in Texas that is his, solely responsible potentially for ending access to medication abortion uh, in this country. Uh, he was put on in a completely partisan manner by Donald Trump. He was not didn't get a single vote by the Democrats. So to me, the danger we have here, as, as Congresswoman Presley says, this is where you have a minority party opposing the will of the majority, enacting, a, you know, overturning precedent, whether it is FDA approval of a safe and effective drug, whether it is uh, the Supreme Court overturning 50 years of precedent. And the, the worst thing about this is it is going to affect people in this country with the least access to care. I sit here in Louisiana today where women are being turned away from getting miscarriage management at hospitals because of the draconian abortion bans in these states, and taking mifepristone off the market is going to make it worse.